Megan in a cold sweat as Sussex PR team hot under collar trying to excuse after bullying claim erupted in a new documentary about the couple's relationship with the press. The Duchess of Sussex sued the Mail on Sunday for breaching her privacy and copyright by printing a letter she sent her father Thomas Markle begging him to stop talking to the media. As she sent her lawyer, Jenny Affia, to defend her publicly against allegations she was a difficult or demanding boss in the new BBC documentary The Princes and the Press. She stated that the claims were just not true, and a spokesperson for the Sussexes branded the allegation a calculated smear campaign. The Princes and the Press explored the fractured relationship between Princes Harry and William and the Press, in what will be a two-part series. She won an emphatic victory in February and told the world of the newspaper's illegal and dehumanizing practices in a triumphant statement. The NBC royal correspondent said the documentary included the very thorny and delicate subject about the ongoing bullying claims from ex-staff that worked alongside the former royals, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex during their time at Frogmore Cottage and Kensington Palace. In March, Meghan's communications secretary Jason Knauf told The Times that in 2018 she had driven two personal assistants out of the household and undermined the confidence of a third staff member. After the allegations came to light, Meghan and her husband Prince Harry made a statement to People, saying, The Duchess is saddened by this latest attack on her character, particularly as someone who has been the target of bullying herself and is deeply committed to supporting those who have experienced pain and trauma. She is determined to continue her work building compassion around the world and will keep striving to set an example for doing what is right and doing what is good. A filing by Meghan's lawyers, seen by Newsweek, reads, The Mail on Sundays, conduct of the litigation is not just needlessly expensive and attritional but intrusive, in particular in its attempts to force her to open up further aspects of her private and personal life and that of her friends. It added, to permit the defense to go to trial would only have facilitated further invasions of Megan's privacy, all flowing from its publication of a private and deeply personal letter, whilst giving the Mail on Sunday the opportunity to profit handsomely from the media circus that would inevitably result. Jason's 2018 email read, I am very concerned that the Duchess was able to bully two PAs out of the household in the past year. The treatment of Vex, name removed, was totally unacceptable. He added, the Duchess seems intent on always having someone in her sights. She is bullying Y, name removed, and seeking to undermine her confidence. We have had report after report from people who have witnessed unacceptable behavior towards Y, name removed. Royal expert Neil Sean spoke about the appearance on his YouTube channel. Now it's interesting because the BBC wheeled out the lawyer from Shillings, which is a very big law firm here in London and they brought this particular lady out who was very glamorous. She was, only on really for about 20 seconds to claim that all the bullying claims were totally false. There was no other side on that, there was no other person interviewed about that particular segment. There was no other side on that, there was no other person interviewed about that particular segment. It's far from concluded now. And given the fact that the former aide, Jason, has revealed that Megan had a lapse of memory while allegedly helping with that book, it does say, well, what was the point of bringing the lawyer out? Could it be to antagonize members of the British monarchy over here? It did put Harry and Meghan center stage once again, in a British documentary on primetime, talking about how difficult it's been for them, trying to clear their name. The case will be done in due course, and we're not sure of the outcome yet. As I say, it's still very much an active, ongoing case. Whatever you may think of Harry and Meghan, their teams are very hot in making sure that they get their side of the story out, while others like of course, William and Catherine and the former staff that worked for them have to remain silent. Meghan has vehemently denied the claims that her behavior had driven two personal assistants out of the household. In a rare intervention, Buckingham Palace said it was very concerned about the allegations and announced they would launch an investigation.
deeply committed to supporting those who have experienced pain and trauma. She is determined to continue her work building compassion around the world and will keep striving to set an example for doing what is right and doing what is good. A filing by Megan's lawyers, seen by Newsweek, reads, The Mail on Sundays, conduct of the litigation is not just needlessly expensive and attritional but intrusive, in particular in its attempts to force her to open up further aspects of her private and personal life and that of her friends. It added, to permit the defense to go to trial would only have facilitated further invasions of, Megan's, privacy, all flowing from its publication of a private and deeply personal letter, whilst giving, the mail on Sunday, the opportunity to profit handsomely from the media circus that would inevitably result. Jason's 2018 email read, 